Virginia Congressman and member of the House Budget Committee, Congressman Ben Klein, joins me. Good evening, sir. And looking at the tea leaves right now, do you anticipate that there will or will not be a shutdown this Saturday night? Well, we're hoping to get some several appropriations bills through, uh, some of which spend more, like defense, but some of which spend less, like foreign operations. If we can get these conservative bills through as well, then there might be more of an appetite for a continuing resolution. But our request all along is that we spend less. We're, we want to get rid of the woke and weaponized Pelosi Biden spending spree. And that's what we're holding our ground on in the Freedom Caucus. If there is a shutdown, the, so the one sort of group that I wonder whether, you know, whether they'll get feel an impact of or not are the children across the country who get hot meals that might be financed um, by government programs. Um, do you know if they, if this, you know, what the plans are in terms of if this is shut down, you know, who's essential, who's not essential, what stays and what doesn't stay while it gets sorted out? I know a, a large portion of the federal government is effectively on autopilot. But there are selective programs uh, that would need to be looked at on a case by case basis. And we are willing to do that. But we want to see a change in attitude with regard to spending by this federal bureaucracy. We can't have the same trillion dollar deficits, the same 30 plus trillion dollar debt continue to drive inflation up, increase pr prices at the grocery store, prices at the pump, and really hurting future generations of Americans. You know, I get that, but I guess that my greater concern, I mean, my immediate concern is about these uh, food programs for children, because some children in this country, the only meal they get is at school and during the day. And that's like, you know, we, you know, we can do without a park service. Um, we can do with, with not a lot of things, you know, for a short term, although it certainly cuts into sort of the fun of the American people. But there are some rather urgent issues. And, you know, that's, you know, can you assure me that that's not a problem for these children? Well, it's our hope that the administration would be able to take steps to mitigate some of the impact. Uh, but hopefully the Biden administration is wanting to avoid this as well. Uh, they are maximizing their political gain from the potential for any shutdown. Uh, the rhetoric coming out of Corinne Jean-Pierre and the White House is, is really pro-shutdown. Uh, they want to blame Republicans. They want to uh, say that they want to continue their trillion dollar spending sprees. And because Republicans are standing up for the American people and saying we can't continue to spend at these clips, uh, we're the ones under attack. And, you know, we just need to see a change in attitude. And if we can see these appropriations bills spend less and pass this week, we'll, we'll go a long way towards avoiding a shutdown. And that's sort of the long-term uh, vision, I understand that and, and appreciate the consequence of it. But the short-term vision, I mean, who, what's essential and what's not? What's going to, you know, we wake up Sunday morning, you know, if there's a shutdown, you know, who, who's, who gets cut? I mean, who's going to feel it first? Uh, that's a good question. And as we said, back in 2013, when we had a shutdown and everything was shut down for a month, it had a significant impact. Uh, but when we had a shutdown during the Trump presidency, there were uh, short term spending uh, bills to avoid some of the uh, more uh, serious impacts. Uh, those were passed and approved. Everybody agreed that certain programs needed to continue to be funded. So we're hopefully going to have that conversation. But our goal is to uh, demonstrate to the American people that the era of Pelosi Biden wasteful spending, woke and weaponized government is over. And if we see that this week through the passage of these cuts, uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue our progress towards funding the government. If you're a betting person, what are the odds on this one, you know, uh, not being a shutdown? You know, I, I feel like we're making progress. Uh, there are a lot of conversations going on behind the scenes right now. The rules have passed for these four bills uh, out of the Rules Committee. And I'm hopeful that they pass on the floor. Uh, but as you saw last week, bills rise or fall on very thin margins right now. All of the Democrats are voting for shutdown. They don't want to fund these appropriations bills. They don't want to fund our soldiers. They don't want to fund our veterans. Uh, but uh, we have five Republicans who maybe are going to decide one way or the other uh, whether 
these rules are going to get passed or not. Congressman Ben Klein, thank you, sir. And of course, we'll watch you see what happens in the next couple of days. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Brad.